Hello, this is the new Tanda of the Week with Juan D'Arienzo and Hector Mauret from D'Arienzo's Romantic Years, 1942-1944. <laughs> Welcome to our channel Tango Music Tutorials. If you like this video, then please click the like button and you can also subscribe to our channel, of course. Thank you. Juan D'Arienzo, El Rey del Compas, was born in Congreso, Buenos Aires in 1900. He made his first recordings in the late 1920s on the Electra label, which was owned by his uncle. But he had his breakthrough when he signed for RCA Victor in 1935. By the end of that year, Darienzo started a tango revolution, or perhaps we should say a restoration, together with Rodolfo Biaggi on piano, which marked the beginning of the Epoca d'Oro. Darienzo's orchestra became the most popular tango orchestra in the late 1930s, with singer Alberto Echagüe, and with Juan Polito on piano, after Rodolfo Biaggi had left to start his own orchestra. But in 1940, his entire orchestra quit and D'Arienzo formed a new lineup with Hector Varela on bandoneon, Cacetano Puglisi violin, and the young Fulvio Salamanca on piano. In 1941, Vicente José Valivene would become the new singer in D'Arienzo's orchestra. Who? We know him by the stage name that D'Arienzo gave to him, Hector Mauret. Hector after Hector Varela and Moray after D'Arienzo's wife's maiden name. Hector Moray was born in Palermo, Buenos Aires in 1920. He was a different kind of singer than his predecessors with D'Arienzo. He had a warmer voice and a different timing. The first recordings from 1941 from D'Arienzo and Moray still have a very strong beat, like for instance Dime Mi Amor and Nunca Mas. But tango fashion starts to shift in 1942 towards the more lyrical, and between 1942 and 1944, Perienzo records some of his most romantic tangos. These are the tangos that are included in this tanda of the week. We start the tanda with the very last track that Darienzo and Mauré recorded together in July 1944, Amaras. Music written by Carlos Marchisio and lyrics by Carmelo Santiago. Amarras is one of my personal favorites and a defining track. Starting the tanda with Amarras immediately sets the mood. This is Darienzo, but melodical, nostalgic and dark. And it's Moray at his very best. The second track is Claudinette from 1942. Music by Enrique Delfino and lyrics by Julian Centeja. Moray sings about a girl called Claudinette, who was gone, of course, taken by the streets of Paris. Or perhaps she followed the sound of Salamanca's piano, which is very present throughout the song. Third is the magnificent Uno from 1943. Music written by Mariano Mores and lyrics by Enrique Santos de Sepolo. Uno has been recorded by many singers and orchestras, but my favorite versions are this one by D'Arienzo with Moré and the one by Toilo with Marino. And they are different. Toilo is a bit more complex with syncopations. D'Arienzo, of course, has a steady beat, but his version is sensitive and subtle as well. The final track is Cicatrices, Scars, from 1942. Music written by Adolfo Aviles and lyrics by Enrique Maroni. Cicatrices is not a typical 1940s tango. It was already recorded by Carlos Cardell in 1925 and by the sextetto of Carlos Di Sardi, for instance, in 1930. It's kind of a transitional recording between the hard rhythmical tangos D'Arienzo made till 1941 and a more lyrical period with Moray from 1942 till 44. That would come to an end when Echagüe returned to the orchestra and Moray left to pursue his own career. And that's our D'Arienzo Moray Tanda of the Week. Amarras, Claudinette, Uno and Cicatrices. Enjoy! <laughs> 
que la lucha es cruel y es mucha, pero lucha y se desangra por la fe que no empecina. Uno va arrastrándose entre espinas y en su afán de dar su amor, sufre y se destroza contente, que uno se quedó sin corazón. Precio de castigo que uno entrega, por un beso que no llega, a un amor que no engañó. Mi angustiado, mi pobre corazón 